the five and a half million dollar luxury liner as she looked when homeward bound on her ill-fated trip from Havana with 558 aboard, mostly holiday tourists returning to New York. Three nights later, a flaming hulk on a raging sea. Upwards of 200 are dead or unaccounted for in the most appalling steamship disaster on the Atlantic seaboard since the excursion boat General Slocum burned 30 years ago with over a thousand lives lost. Resting the fury of a violent storm, the doomed ship was seven miles off the Jersey coast when a night watchman making his rounds at 3 a.m. discovered the library ablaze. Minutes later, an SOS crackled above the wind and the rain and vessels went steaming to the rescue. The fire, meanwhile, was taking terrible toll. Lifeboats were burned before they could be launched. The blistered side of the liner bears grim evidence of the fact that only eight boats were successfully released from the Morrow Castle. The specter of death was everywhere. It first appeared on the bridge of the liner hours before the disaster when Captain Robert Wilmoth, master of the ship, died a victim of a heart attack. As the walls of flame enveloped all but the forward section, scores leaped into the sea to escape the searing heat and smoke. Many were trapped in their cabins when fire engulfed their companionways. Passengers with heads through portholes screamed frantically for help. As the murky dawn broke on the turbulent sea, movie tone surveyed the scene in all its grim reality. Men and women clinging to anything afloat until exhausted and numbed by the cold they could cling no longer had disappeared beneath the choppy waves. The graphic scenes of the disaster were filmed by an amateur who was a passenger on the moniker Bermuda, one of the first ships to reach the burning Morro Castle. Here's the tense moment as the first lifeboats reached the side of the rescue steamer, with close views of the blazing liner and its scores of panic-stricken humans, many of them so frightened they wouldn't trust themselves to the small craft in the rough seas. The fire was at its worst as the maker of these pictures leaned over the rail with his small hand camera to record the appalling scene. On New Jersey shore, natives of Spring Lake, Point Pleasant, and Seagirt gaze out over lashing breakers for signs of survivors. Beyond the surf, a lifeboat is seen fighting its way in. As the day wears on, the storm increases in violence, making the treacherous rocks and combers more of an ordeal than ever. 